Here's somebody with a troubled past, drawn into the spotlight of a story that's already begun. We're already at a crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice. But for you, it's not only a crossroad, but... Let me introduce my... Seems more... Bar... In your... N Guess left can be right, sometimes. Stories of death and the bodies left behind, a reminder that we're at the mercy of nature and the one that preys on others. Do you remember the beast that shattered your family, or did you choose to forget? You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. Make a run for it. This is not the time nor place to end this story. This time, it was best to run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. The predator isn't the only threat. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began and the tree of life started to die. Oil sludges everywhere. To most, it only means death, but some have adapted to the new environment and changed with it. Evolution has its ways.
An emergency box from the once was. A rare sight. That pipe looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. Whoa! It's time to find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. The Morks produce biomatter in their multi-organ that they shed under distress. Blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed, including you. Ladder would be better. Toxinol came before us. Never lost hope in finding a needs a key. <laughs> Someone locked it solid. There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxanol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste and, without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right, but no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. You're getting the hang of it. Quickest way out is through the roof where they came in, and the rope looks strong enough to climb. Know that the tree of life is dying. Its days are numbered. Without help, 
It can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world eaters. A signpost maps it out for the cartographically challenged. Let's see. the world eater that chewed off out of date's leg. You'll need a hat trick to bring that down. The world eaters have made their marks on our world over time. That's not the first nor the last village it'll leave in its wake. Look! A survivor. Glad to see someone made it out alive. He's heard the stories about the terror inflicted by the world eaters to other enclaves, but never expected one to come all the way here. Anyway, he needs help and says it's by your actions you'll be judged, not by your intention. There's out of date again. He must have missed something important. Regardless of who you choose, the Myriad's conviction to stop the World Eaters began when the Leviathans rose from the depths of the surf. Siding with the Myriad's movement for wholeness in a fragmented world might seem like the logical thing to do, but is it the right thing? One thing's certain, though. Destiny arrives all the same. The Jackney tribe only ever had one conviction, to bring balance to the world by wiping out the weak. They believe a cleansing is necessary to restore the world and want to let the world eaters bring down the Tree of Life. But siding with Jackney isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fate will find a way. It's a bridge. Just get over it.
They've restroyed this area, muddied up what used to be muck, as if it wasn't bad enough before the tribe war began. That's the Jagni tribe's fort. Their friendship can be a blessing or a curse. It's up to you. You're either a part of their solution to the tribe war or part of the problem. Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. Says everyone. Zata is the moy dot loho. Karies ne zdace. Paro. The Jagni tribe wants to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. They want to vanquish the tribes as the only way they can guarantee peace is through supremacy. The he welcomed the news of a cold-blooded ronin crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 preceded you. He's referred Sometimes says there is some darkness in the best of He'll give you a chance to change your mind before you leave and asks you to reconsider. And with that, he urged he disagreed. 